Have you been asked to find the sales and contribution margin given the following information, but you're not sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to find that information in today's video. But first, I want to say something awesome is about to happen for you, so be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. I have done a prior video in which I found uh, sales and variable costs, contribution margin and fixed costs for multiple firms where some of the information was missing. And I showed the process all at once. If you missed that video, I've got it linked up here for you. Take a look at that. In this video, I'm going to break it down in more detail and showing you step by step how to get the information that is missing. And that way it'll make it easier for you to solve this type of problem. All right, so let's take a look at this one. We've got firm B. We don't have the amount of sales. We do have variable costs. These are, again, aggregate variable costs. In other words, I had done one video in which we talked about the variable cost per unit and finding the information with that strategy. That video is linked up there if you want to take a look at that one. In this case, we've got variable costs in the aggregate, and that is varying relating directly with sales. So as sales go up, the variable costs will go up. And likewise, as sales go down, the variable costs would go down. That's why it's a variable cost. We do know the fixed costs. Fixed costs don't change no matter what the sales do. So this would be an example of maybe rent or something along those lines that doesn't change even if nothing is sold or even if sales are doubled. That stays the same. And the contribution margin ratio, that is showing us how much of your sales goes toward the bottom line, the operating income. So it's going to be a ratio. It's going to be a percentage. And if we multiply that by sales, that will tell us how much our contribution margin is. We would subtract out our fixed costs from that, and that would give us our operating income. Let's see how that works in real life. We need to find our sales figure, and we need to find the contribution margin ratio. We've got some formulas here that might be helpful. And I'm going to use the idea of contribution margin to find contribution margin ratio. So let's first find the contribution margin. In other words, the contribution margin is going to be a dollar figure. And that's going to show us how much after variable costs are paid goes toward the operating income. Once you subtract fixed costs from the contribution margin, you end up with the operating income. If you are losing money, if you have a loss, it's a negative number, we would put that in parentheses. But in this case, this company is making money. There is an operating income of 71,566. We know the fixed costs are 115,000. We want to find the contribution margin ratio, but first let's find just the contribution margin. I'm gonna abbreviate that as CM. That's gonna be a dollar figure as opposed to a percentage. Once we have the dollar figure, then we can work backward to find the contribution margin ratio. Let's understand how this works. The contribution margin, as I mentioned, once you have that, you would subtract out your fixed costs, and then that leaves you your operating income. Or of course, if the fixed costs are larger than the contribution margin, you would have a loss. In this case, we have a positive number, so we have operating income. We know the fixed cost, but we and we know the operating income, but we don't know the contribution margin. So if we're going to solve for contribution margin, let's do a little bit of algebra and get this by itself. And the way we do that is since this is subtracting fixed costs, I'm going to add fixed costs to both sides. Draw a line. So I just bring down contribution margin. Minus fixed cost plus fixed cost, that eliminates it, gets rid of it, bring down the equal sign. I have operating income plus fixed cost. So this is 
one of the formulas that I can use. My contribution margin, which I'm trying to figure out here, is equal to my operating income plus my fixed costs. So in other words, we're going to add these two together to find our contribution margin. Let's do that. So our operating income, and I'm going to use my handy BA2 plus calculator. I really like this. It's great for doing finance and accounting. If you're looking for one, you can pick one up using the link down below, or I've got one. Um, there's also one on the, on the screen you can use. Let's take a look at this. So I've got um, operating income is 71,566, and I add to that the fixed costs, 115,000. And that gives us that gives us a contribution margin of 186,566. So that's our contribution margin. As I said, it's a dollar figure. And that is what we're going to use to find our sales figure. And once we know the sales figure, we can then figure out the contribution margin. So how do we figure the sales figure? Well, the amount of sales is going to be, we're just going to call that X if we don't know it. And we have contribution margin, which is this number is equal to sales minus variable costs. So we know this number and we know the variable costs. We're looking for sales. How do we get that by itself? Well, algebraically, let's add variable costs to each side. So on the left side, I've got contribution margin plus variable costs is equal to sales. So we can find sales by adding contribution margin, not the ratio, the margin to the variable costs, and that will give us the sales. So we've already got the contribution margin on the screen, so I don't have to retype that in. I like to save steps, and I'm going to add that to our variable cost of $461,000. And remember, this is aggregate. This is not per item. This is after all the sales, what is the variable cost? And we have 647,566. That is the amount of sales. And this makes sense. If that's our sales, if we were to subtract out our variable cost, 461,000, that gives us our contribution margin. See how this works? We take our contribution margin, and I'm going to subtract our fixed costs, and that gives us our operating income. So that's how we calculate that. This is how the information flows through, and that's why we can use this to find these things. The only last thing we need to find is that contribution margin ratio. And we see here that contribution margin ratio is equal to sales minus variable costs over sales. Okay, so we've got sales, we've got variable costs, and we also obviously know sales. One thing that we know also is that sales minus variable costs is equal to contribution margin. So I can rewrite this as contribution margin ratio is equal to, remember sales versus variable costs, that's the numerator here, that's equal to contribution margin, so I could write that as contribution margin, all over sales. Does that make sense? Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. That that lets me know that you appreciate this and that you're getting something out of it. I could put these numbers in. I could just put the sales number in and subtract out the variable costs. But I want you to see that I'm substituting sales minus variable costs because sales minus variable costs is the same thing as contribution margin. I can substitute this numerator. I can substitute in contribution margin, which we found here. And remember, contribution margin is a dollar figure. Contribution margin ratio is a percentage. And because it's a per percentage, I'm going to multiply by 100. Because when we do this, we're going to wind up with a decimal. And we want to multiply it by 100 to wind up with the percentage. All right, let's fill this in. So our contribution margin ratio 
is equal to our contribution margin, which is the 186,566, divided by our sales, which is 647,566. And we're going to multiply that by 100 to get our contribution margin ratio. Let me clear this out. And we have 186,566. I divide it by 647,566. And it gives us 0.29. I multiply it by 100, and that gives me 28.81, right? Because which is rounds to 29%. And the and the reason that is because there's some rounding in the calculator there. So our contribution margin ratio is 29%. That is how we find contribution margin ratio and sales when we don't know those figures. That's all I have for you today. One way you can benefit the channel is to share this with anyone you think could benefit from it. It's much appreciated when you do that. You can also become a member because the members get special early access to videos. They're special members only videos and they get priority and they're getting their questions answered. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Let's make it an awesome day. Thank you.